I'm having regrets. Oh. Hey guys, what's up? It's Lauren. Welcome back to my channel. It has been a hot minute since I've done a main channel video. I have consecutively gone to Vegas, Miami, and Coachella, and I don't have COVID, but I do have a little bit of the desert plague, and my voice is functioning at maybe like a 75% rate right now, so bear with me for today's video. I also haven't done like any kind of like catch up with me video in a while, so I asked you on Instagram if there are any like update chatty questions that you want me to talk about while I um, custom paint a real Louis Vuitton bag. I feel like I may be throwing myself into the deep end a little too quickly for this, but I have recently gone down an absolute rabbit hole of watching people paint like really cool custom artwork pieces on designer bags. And so I didn't lock myself down to the actual Louis Vuitton store, which I think is, is good. Like that's like a little impulsive, I think, for my first custom paint. But I was able to find a real used Louis Vuitton bag at a thrift store and it ended up kind of being like the perfect size. I don't love this side of it, but uh, this side is perfect for painting. So I just got this like little random dice on fire that I think I want to do in like a pink color and do my first custom designer bag artwork paint. The stakes are high, obviously, because this is a real Louis Vuitton bag and was not cheap, but the stakes aren't as high as they could have been had I made a wildly impulsive decision to purchase a brand new Louis Vuitton bag. Okay, so let's go over to Instagram and I will grab some questions and we can get started with this uh, custom bag. Okay, so this is Leather Prepper and D glazer. I've used leather paint on sneakers before, but never on a bag, and I'm really just also hoping that this isn't acetone and gonna f*** up my manicure? Oh my god. It smells like the vodka that I used to drink in high school. <laughs> First question is, uh, what's my star- Oh my god. <laughs> Here's a few options running through my head. One, this is a used bag, so is it really dirty? Two, is this a fake bag and I'm wiping the Louis Vuitton pattern off? Three, is this supposed to happen and this is just like the deglazing portion? Because obviously you have to take a layer off so that you can paint and it like it adheres to it. So it's like I knew that was gonna happen. I mean, it doesn't look like any of the actual like LV is coming off. This is more of a YOLO than I would like to do with a $600 purchase. <laughs> high risk, high reward, baby. I don't know if I fully believe that. But <laughs> Maybe we don't do any more than that. We didn't even get to the first question of the Q&A. Okay, I'm gonna give this a second to dry. First question is, what is my Wordle starting word? As many of you may know, the New York Times has since acquired the Wordle game, but it's basically just like a, a word solving game that you get a new word every day, so you only play once. There are like so many other versions of Wordle if you wanna play more. More, but my Wordle starting word is not the same. I do something different for every game. Audio is a good starting word because that like knocks out four vowels. Or I'll do a word like place or trace. Those are like the main ones where I'll try and do a word that's got like two vowels and then like three of like the most common consonants like S, T, H, R, N, M type thing. I don't know. I'm addicted to Wordle. Confirmed it's normal. It is normal? Yeah. Thank God. Wow. Okay. I can see like in the light that I took off like the shiny layer of like the glaze of like the finish because then you paint and then I actually have a whole bottle of acrylic finisher. It'll like match the glaze that's already on the bag. A stressful start. But um, here we go. Okay, so I just have a little bit of scotch tape behind this to hold it down while I trace it on. I just have like a, a white pencil. I'm gonna do my best to like try and just give this an outline and then I have to paint the whole thing white before I can even add detail to like give it like a, a base of like flat color before I add more color on top. Again, I have gone down an absolute wormhole of these videos. So in my mind, I'm a pro. Will the end product turn out the way that I wanted to in my head? We are gonna find out. Okay, the next question, how are the curtain bangs going? So if you watch the vlog channel, I had a whole stressful process where I committed to curtain bangs, except for like, I definitely could have committed a little more. It was a whole process, it was a very, very, mentally uh, taxing process for me to make the smallest change to my hair. But the curtain bangs are going great. I literally am like ready to cut more, I think. Now that I've learned how to style them and it's mostly just like straightening the hair 
back, if that makes sense, so that you get like a little boost at the root. I'm a big fan, and I think I'm ready to commit to like a little more bang. Jeremy is not gonna be happy. Another common question are questions about new possible tattoos, and some of the questions even apologize to Mom DIY in advance. And I would say that my answer to this question would actually depend on if Mom DIY is watching this video. So, with the assumption that she's watching, <laughs> Uh, next question. <laughs> okay, here we go. Contact. <gasps> ah, okay, here we go. A lot of Coachella questions since obviously I just came back from Coachella. As you can hear my voice, still obviously, oh my god, talking and painting. Very difficult. Uh, we had a good Coachella. It was fun. Meg the Stallion. I'm like a Meg the Stallion fan, but I'm not like a super stan. She was incredible oh my god she crushed it and then also I'm a big flume fan so those are probably the two musical highlights for me it's definitely not about the music I've always heard that going weekend two is like much more for like the actual music and weekend one is definitely like a scene it's definitely when all of the brands are there spending their money so like all the influencers are going on weekend one like a oh content festival. That's the perfect way to describe it. Influencers are dressed up as like space disco cowboy boho bitches and myself included and it's a festival to take content. It's definitely a festival that is like centered around being social and wearing cute outfits and taking photos but we had a good time. Jeremy on the podcast announced that because he just turned 30 this is his last Coachella. I don't think it is. I think you'll see Jeremy back in the desert next next uh, next April. Future project plans. Okay, so this is in the future, but it's not like anything crazy, but it is something that I've been working on for a hot minute now. I am super close to getting ready to launch the Discord channel, which I am so excited about. And so I'm in the hiring process of getting my Discord community manager all hired and ready to go. And I'm super excited to so stay tuned because that is happening probably in the next couple of weeks or so. I have been putting it off for a very long time, but it's happening. Favorite Squishmallow, Malcolm the Mushroom. What made you want to get a Bull Terrier? So I actually grew up next to a Bull Terrier. He was full size and fully white. His name is Buster and he was just like a hilarious dog. He was very large and very heavy. My neighbor actually let me bring Buster to school on the bring your pet to uh, school day for show and tell. So she and Buster came to school with me. We put him on the desk and I remember like being like, damn, this is a dense ass dog. Loved Buster. And then when I moved to LA, there was actually a mini Bull Terrier who lived in my first apartment that I lived dad his name is Johnny he was like black tan and white and he was so cute and I was like you're telling me that I can get a mini buster that's so it sparked the search for moose what's the most grown up slash adult thing that you do now that surprises you slash are most proud of I love this question and I think it's something that everyone should think about once in a while because I feel like when you've come so far you don't even take a step back to be like damn that's adult as f of me to do but like this morning I took a call with a Stanford PhD graduate who started his own company and I am now investing in his company and it's like one of those conversations where it's like I actually know business terminology I've just come so far in being confident in talking to like founders and grads of like really intense prestigious schools I've come just like a long way in my confidence and like not having imposter syndrome when I have these conversations and invest in companies grown as shit <sighs> why don't you have a green card yet for the US bitch if this ain't the question of the last six years of my life. So I've actually been turned down for a green card. Love that for me, thanks USA. Because I was not an asset enough to the country to have a green card. So I'm currently on a visa, which I can continue to renew. I'm about to submit for another round of green card, but essentially you have to prove to the country that you are an asset and that you are valuable enough to stay and like be a part of the country. So like owning American real estate, hiring American employees, owning like American stocks and investments. I have done many of those things for the last six years and they still said no. It's a very long process and it's pretty like dinosaur so it takes a long time and moves very slowly, but uh, fingers crossed that immigration says yes to me. Okay, base coat complete. There's a few flames that are kind of in the foreground. It's like background flames, dice, foreground flames. And so we're gonna YOLO this a little bit. I'm gonna try and trace the dice out and just do the flames all in one go. Also, I have literally the world's smallest paintbrush in the entire world. This is really testing the dexterity of my little Asian hands today. Hey, 
have you ever thought about a boob job? Not hating, have small ones myself. I'd be lying if I said that I hadn't thought about a boob job. Not in like a way of like, oh, I definitely want to get one. I don't have to wear a bra any day, honestly, if I really don't want to, which I normally typically do not. But it does look really nice to have like perky boobies of whatever size you want to pay for that like also don't need a bra. Cause I feel like that's probably one of the benefits of having fake boobs is they just kind of like sit there in whichever placement you pay for them to sit there in. So that does look pretty convenient, but I love having small boobs and I've got no plans anytime soon to get boobs put into my body. Who from Asian Girl Squad would you go on to the amazing race with? 100% Mia. Remy, Tiff, love ya, but Mia is a ride or die for not only like us as friends, but just like in general a ride or die. I've never seen something that Mia can't do or won't try to do. Why didn't you go to Coachella weekend too? Because I'm not crazy. <laughs> I don't know how people have it in them to go to weekend one and two. I'm literally a week and a half later still recovering from weekend one. Do you have a five year plan? Definitely not. Like 100% no right off the bat. No. I don't even know what I'm having for lunch tomorrow. I've never been someone who's like, here's what I want to do next year and then year two and then year three, year four, year five. Like especially working as a like content creator or whatever, like everything changes so fast and new like social media platforms also pop up so fast like two years ago. No wait, how old's TikTok now? Three years ago. Three years ago? I think back to when TikTok was not a thing and like how big of a part it plays in my life now, even just like as a consumer. And like that wasn't in my five year plan. I feel like having a five year plan is not even something that I think about because it kind of feels nearly impossible. How's your crypto shit going? <laughs> crypto shit is doing great. Crypto shit is thriving. If you don't know, I have a TikTok and an Instagram called LordDIY.eth where I do like 101 educational content for crypto, NFTs, and Web3. So crypto shit, going good. How do you sleep with your hair to get your curls to last more than one day? Oh my god, this was a life-changing trick. First of all, it's like using a decent amount of hairspray the first day so that your curls will stay in general, but then sleeping with a super soft scrunchie, like a super, super soft, like silky one with all my hair in a ponytail on the very top of my head. So like I'll put it basically on my forehead right here. I'm a sweaty, reckless sleeper. Like it's not a cute look for me. And so when I'm thrashing back and forth, my hair gets like matted and tangled. And so if it's like sitting on top of my head, like at the top of my pillow and it goes untouched, for most of the night. Those are like the best chances that I will give myself to wake up and still have my curls preserved, which usually works for like four to five days. You must have given the dream proposal a thought. Let's hear. There's like nothing super specific. I think something like pretty private, like the idea of like a super public engagement. Like when you see people get engaged to on jumbotrons at massive sporting events, that's my literal worst nightmare in the entire world. So something pretty private and I would love if there was like a photographer hidden in a bush or something like that would be incredible to like remember the moment but like not have to be thinking about taking a photo you know what I mean like you see proposals where people like set the phone up and then are stressed about like the angle and stuff like that so I would love if there was like a bush photographer what kind of pressure do you feel around your content creation any slash all platforms I mean I think because there are so many content creators and there are so many platforms it's hard to not get caught up in the constant pressure to just like keep creating always and forever and on every platform but but I mean, um, we've seen me and many of the creators burn out and obviously it's not sustainable to be creating content like 24 seven. I've learned that just posting when it feels right is a lot more mentally healthy, I think for me. I think it's actually made me post more vlogs, post more TikToks when I don't feel the need to like make a specific piece of content for a deadline, which like forces you to make content. So, I mean, it's definitely there as an ever present feeling, but I've gotten better, I think, at finding the balance. So many questions about getting a second dog like forever and always every Q&A will just be questions about getting a second dog listen I would love to have 14 dogs 100% but Moose is just so easy he's so 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 low maintenance and he's just like such an easy dog and I always heard the jump from one to two dogs is a pretty big change and so I just don't think they're ready to have two dogs since Jeremy and I both are busy with work and Moose could just like he's happy to just sunbathe during the day. We don't have the spare time to dedicate the amount that I want and need to when there is a new dog in the house. But if I did at the time, 14 dogs. Would you ever get a full tattoo sleeve or do you prefer small ones? I don't think a full tattoo sleeve is for me. Like I think we'll leave that to Mia. Hot as f 
she's doing it she's got the sleeve it looks so good on her but I don't think that that's personally like my vibe I think like the little sticker sleeve is more my vibe let's just keep the tattoo questions moving before mom DIY comes and kills us all I fucked up I'm having regrets having immediate regrets in the form of pink dice oh we're just gonna do a little little scraping of the excess it's gonna be fine it's gonna be fine Game time correction, not bad, not bad. This white is thick as f and arguably might have just helped make it like a little more opaque. Definitely could have gone without that step, but it's okay, crisis averted. Crisis absolutely averted. God, the fact that I've been here for three and a half hours and this is all I have to show for myself, Jesus. I'm getting to like the YOLO part of the day where I'm gonna do a little bit of free handing. I wanna do these die with little hearts on them instead of just like regular dots. Ah, Jesus, I gotta, here we go, here we go. Paint stroke and done. Five hours later, two tiny little dice on fire. Honestly, it's really cute. Like for my first custom paint job, I like it. I think it's a vibe. I also like don't understand how people get so incredibly good at this. Like I have the smallest paintbrush that you can buy. Damn, mad respect to these custom painters because damn. Alright guys, that is it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if there's something else that I should try and tackle to customize because like I got a shit ton of leather paint now. So what do you think? Like should there be some maybe sneakers next? Anyways, so if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and subscribe over on the vlog channel. A new episode of Wild Club 9 will be out on Tuesday and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys!